Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the well. Booty, 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 rockin' in the well. Booty, 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 rockin' in the well. Overall, the biggest difference between the X-ray and the MRI is the technology that's used, or the equipment that's also used as well too, and the um, technique, the technique that's used between the two. The MRI uses magnetic waves, whereas the X-ray uses radiation. So if you're wondering the, dis the difference between the MRI uses the magnetic waves while radiation is used for X-ray. Those are the difference between the X-ray and the MRI. All right, so YouTube, with this video, I feel like this video is highly requested and needed for many medical assistants that's either in pain management or OBGYN, any upco upcoming medical assistant as far as for finishing up your courses or anything like that, this is highly needed. You need to know the difference between the X-ray and the MRI. It's very important to know the difference between the X-ray and the MRI. Many times, even while being into the field, you have to get the MRI report faxed over or you have to get the X-rays faxed over. Many patients are gonna ask you, well, what is the difference between an X-ray and an MRI? Because I recently just got an X-ray done. Like, it's, oh my gosh, it's such a headache. So I figured this video would be such a great video for you guys, so y'all stay tuned and let's get right into it. All right, so many people need to have an X-ray or MRI done after an injury or illness. They're both are used to take images and see the inside of the body. This gives the doctor an image to pretty much look at the, tendon, the tendons, also the muscles and the bones, pretty much parts that they can't normally see. Um, they also get be able to see if things are pretty much normal or abnormal, and that pretty much leads to which prescriptions could you know get prescribed or which trigger points injection could be done or which surgical whatever needs to be done to pretty much help the patient out that's what the x-ray or mri is for um the first type of imaging that's used after spotting a problem is most likely an x-ray so usually most of the time when i'm working with the doctor he always tells me call san jose imaging or call um, baptist imaging or something like that and get the x-ray report faxed over to us Whenever he says the x-ray report or anything like that, that's pretty much known as a radiograph, which will use radiation when taking pictures. So whenever you're dealing with the x-ray, they use radiation when taking pictures. But that's not just it, you guys. There's more to it when they're talking about with an x-ray. They use radiation to take pictures to transmit the electro electromagnetic waves. This will pretty much uncover the structures of the body into a film being exposed. Within the x-ray, pretty much they say that it has a lot of uh, level of exposure when it comes to the radiation because most people would like to know if the radiation is pretty much harmful. Um, it will not hurt. The only time you're pretty much having an exclusive x-ray is if the patient is pregnant. So pretty much if you're getting an ultrasound done or something like that, that's probably pretty much something like that. Um, an x-ray will take pictures at different viewpoints. So it can be difficult at times to see different angles. Sometimes a doctor may even take images of the unharmed body part to compare it to the injured one, which is very smart because sometimes even when the doctor is kind of discussing either x-ray finding or MRI, it'll be two pictures. You'll see a picture on this side and a picture on this side. So they have to have two visual ones to pretty much tell. The picture will appear all black with just a dense matter that has absorbed of the radiation to appear white. This white matter will usually most likely be the bone, tumor, or organ. So when you see those two different colors, at least you'll know. The softer tissue will then become harder to see and may blend into the dark background. If this happens, you may have to off be offered dye so they can see that tissue better. Time frame for x-ray, it usually takes about half an hour and the doctor will be able to see the pictures in a very timely manner. So that's what I'm talking about with x-rays. So x-rays pretty much use radiation when taking pictures and the radiation is used to transmit electronic magnetic waves to pretty much uncover the structures of the body of the film that is being exposed. So whenever you hear an x-ray, just think of the radiation that's being used to pretty much cause the electronic magnetic rays. That's what's that for. All right, so now talking about the second one with the MRI. Whenever dealing with the MRI, the MRI stands for magnetic resonance imaging. Resumption imaging. I could be saying that wrong, but I'm gonna leave it down here below to let you guys know what MRI stands for so you guys are all on one accord for me. But I just say MRI because it's short for it. It's a different way of taking pictures for the body. Again, x ray and MRI are the same because they take photos and images of the body so the doctor could be able to tell as far as for the condition that's wrong with you. 
One of the biggest differences between the two is that MRIs do not use radiation. So remember, x-rays use radiation, MRI does not use radiation. Also with MRI, they use a magnetic field to pretty much take their pictures. The pictures pretty much get sent to your body, to a computer, where they can look at the bone and tissues. Be aware that if you have any metal on your body to tell the doctor before the MRI scan. So whenever, if you ever seen that movie Venom, he had to get an MRI to tell that the parasite was in his body. Welcome back. Where am I? Uh, you're in the MRI. Can we give you a little sedative? That's pretty much what an MRI. You just be laid down on the bed and then you just pretty much go through. They take the images of your body. They talk to you about the findings. That's what the MRI is. So whenever thinking about an MRI, think of the movie Venom. Pretty much to similar to an x-ray you will need to be very still so with both procedures you have to be very still whenever getting an x-ray done you have to be still whenever getting an mri done you have to make sure that you're still so they can get specific parts of your body okay so what's going to happen is you're going to have your entire body is going to go into a it will glide in a large tube for the mri it will surround your body and take pictures using the magnetic field and radio waves these waves will pulse causing your tissues to reverberate showing images from the inside of your body when that tends to happen the computer can note the vibrations and create the image this will not harm your body it's similar to an x-ray so it will not hurt you or anything like that it can take up an hour or more and it will help diagnose uh, diagnose tears uh, hips problems or any other problems that may come along with it so it pretty much can let you guys know as far as what needs to be helped, um, the areas that you're having the problems going with. So that's pretty much what that's for. And I feel like this is really good because at the end of the day, when I'm telling you nonstop, a lot of patients will ask you, what are the differences between the MRI? Because I felt like I just got an MRI done. I'm just like, did you have your whole body go inside that big old tube? If not, then you need to get an MRI done. So that's pretty much what the MRI for. X-rays is just to kind of get more visuals as far as for the body structures, but you're having that radiation contact to go with that. I'll thank you later. I'm telling you, this will help you out in the field. So whenever the doctor be like, hey, do you have the um, Baptist facts over the um, MRI report, the lumbar spine? Whenever he says that, that, he's looking for the report to pretty much talk about the findings. But however, some people may give you a disc or anything to try to get a visual um, look as far as for what they had the chance to look at. So welcome to the medical assistant life.